Welcome back everybody. Um, hope everybody's having a good day. Um, today I'm gonna, this is the uh, first video of probably maybe a three part series, maybe four. Um, what I'm doing is um, I am going to be refinishing this little jewel right here. This is a uh, Beretta 950. Um, these are cool little little handguns. They're very cool. I always liked them. Um, great little uh, pocket carry. Um, not much for power or, or anything like that. But it's just a cool. I've always liked it. Um, cool little handgun. And what we're going to do, you can see on this one that. Uh, it has seen better days and uh, we're gonna put a Cerakote finish on it and uh, and then we're gonna it's for a lady and we're also gonna put some decorations we are gonna do some scroll work now what I've drawn up is this right here um, it was uh, it was drawn up in Adobe Illustrator and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be cutting out these little decals, hopefully. Um, some of them are pretty small. The lines are pretty pretty fine. So I have to kind of play that by ear. I may have to resize them a little bit, make them a little bit thicker, just to uh, make them do right. And so what we're going to do, the primary color on this is going to be black. Um, and then we're going to do the scroll work is going to be in pink and we're going to have some scroll work going down the top going down each side except for the serrations the back there's going to be a little and on the front strap front of the strap of the magwell area is going to have a little bit it um, a scroll work and everything else is going to be black um, I'm still undecided if I wanted to if I want to do the little Beretta logo in pink or not or maybe inset do the inset pink and the outline black I'm just not sure of all that yet so I'm still undetermined on that but what we're going to do is um, in the next video if you'll stay tuned and uh, the next video will show the disassembly all the prep work um, I'll try to have the vinyl cut out by the end. Um, let's see. Um, and then, then we'll, uh, I, I don't know if I'm going to show the actual painting or not. I still haven't, uh, come up with a good, uh, way to get my little paint booth, uh, lighted up enough, um, with enough light to show a, a good video. But, um, I will try, um. And then we'll have a, uh, we'll show all the parts um, after they've been coated. Um, then we'll uh, show the reassembly. I've never taken one of these apart, but um, I can't imagine it's, um, it's too difficult. So we will uh, step you through this. And then when it's all due, we'll do some function tests and um, make sure everything's working. Um, we will not do a test fire. On this one but uh, we will make sure that everything is functional um, and the magazine we're probably just going to do the magazine in a uh, in a black and um, that that area right there needs a little bit of work it just this button just just doesn't uh, this buzz the button just doesn't feel right it's sticking it could be just because it needs to be clean there's uh and you kind of have to slam it in there so that'll be adjusted and uh we'll uh show you this one on the next video thank you and uh we'll try to show all the links and um anything that um the stuff i use the Cerakote, the type of gun I use, all that kind of stuff. 
um, we'll leave some links in the description so uh, so you can uh, if you want to do this to one of your firearms then uh, you have all the information needed and and please please leave a response if uh, if you watch this video leave a response um, please subscribe to my channel um, this video will also be on my patreon page um, and um, if you want to support us the, through the patreon um, you can go take a look at that and uh, and we'll go from there but uh, for now next thing um, I'm gonna take a couple still photos of this and then uh, then we're going to start the disassembly I'll get the camera set up and uh, hope you stay tuned and follow along with this little uh, refinish take care and uh, see you on the next video bye